Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And obviously, as you can tell by the title, this is gonna be a new pair of glasses that I just picked up. Now, this is the third installment in Oakley's uh, 3D eyewear that they release for some specific 3D movies that come out. And in this case is The Adventures of Tintin, as you can see from the box there. Uh, really awesome packaging, uh, as they always do with their uh, 3D eyewear. Uh, it's very colorful. The box all around uh, displays all the information. You've got your icon right there. And then right here in the front, it says The Adventures of Tintin. And it's got the, uh, the characters there. And then a very, very highly reflective box, which is really, really nice. It definitely adds to the, uh, you know, just the look of the glasses themselves. And then this is, um, let me see if I can focus on that. As you guys can see right there, it's 3X Gas Can Tintin and a root beer frame color with the HDO 3D eyewear or 3D lenses, sorry. So let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what's inside. All right, so you've got your glasses. And then just all your packaging information that normally uh, will come with your glasses. So as you guys can see from the uh, micro bag here, it follows the same theme. Uh, it's really cool. It's got this kind of silhouette of the guy running there and kind of like a map out, um, you know, design in the back. Adventures of Tintin right there. And then it's got it, um, you know, kind of printed on this side as well. So uh, it's really cool that they match the uh, the box with the micro bag and the glasses. So that's really nice. Um, glasses themselves, obviously, it's got the um, HDO 3D lens, as you guys can see right there. It's etched on the bottom of the lens, so there's no uh, there's no tint on that lens. Now, uh, I did want to answer a couple questions that I did receive through uh, through some of my other videos. Um, are you able to wear 3D glasses as uh, regular sunglasses and the answer to that is no. Uh, Oakley actually does not include any UV protection on their 3D lenses. So even though you can wear them, uh, you know, you can put them on and walk outside, they're not going to protect your eyes from the harmful rays of the sun. So it's obviously not recommended. Uh, another major question is, are you able to switch out the lenses and just throw in some regular, since, regular lenses since it is a gas can frame? Now the actual answer directly from Oakley is no you're not supposed to be switching out the lenses on these the the reason for it is because the lenses on the 3D glasses are actually uh, a little bit thinner uh, than the regular gas can lenses so they're not supposed to fit uh, all the way correctly now I have seen people that have switched them out and you know they, they do fit but again going with the answer directly from Oakley Oakley says no don't switch out the lenses uh, because they are thinner uh, you also run the risk of actually damaging the 3d lenses when you uh, when you take them out and if you want to replace them or whatnot so let's say if you want to throw some regular lenses in this but then you go watch a 3d movie put the 3d lenses back in there because they're so thin you know you run the risk of damaging them so they obviously they say not to do it so those are just a couple of random questions that I received in the past. Now, back to the actual glasses. Um, obviously, it's got the uh, the root beer color frame, which is uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's not my favorite color frame, but I think they did a really good job on this model. Uh, it's got this gold icon, which is highly reflective, and it's really, really nice. And then you have the, uh, you know, the artwork all the way through there. Um, you know, it's it's really cool. It's it's uh, it's kind of painted onto the frame and boasts on the frame there, and it makes it look really, really nice. Um, on the other side, you have some more artwork right here, and then you actually have a little bit of artwork on the um, on the icon itself. It's got the uh, the silhouette of the little guy running, uh, or Tintin, that's his name, running with the uh, with the little dog. And then on the inside, you have um, let me see this will focus so you guys can read it a little better. Uh, the Adventures of Tintin obviously right right in there so really really cool uh, frame especially if, uh, if you guys are looking for uh, to have your own set of 3d glasses so you can use uh, either at home or in the movies or whatnot now um, another question that I do you know that I have received in the past regarding 3d glasses is will it work with uh, any type of movie theater or any type of TV and uh, the answer to that is um, this is what is considered passive 3d technology uh, there's two types of 3D technology. There's active and then there's passive. Active is generally the one that the glasses require a battery. So basically the glasses are the one that, that are doing the, uh, you know, the majority of the 3D work. So it's, uh, it has a battery packed, uh, a battery pack on the actual glasses. Obviously, as you guys can see, this one does not, uh, this one's going to be the passive technology. So, um, this is going to work fine with any real D 3D. Um, it will not work with IMAX 3D. So, uh, you know, IMAX is active technology versus real, uh, real D is, 
uh, passive technology. So I know it's a, it's a little bit technical in there, but basically any movie that you go watch where they give you those uh, the regular kind of thin round frame 3D glasses, you'll be able to use these to go watch. Um, and I know right now um, there aren't a lot of TVs that are coming in passive technology uh you know that i know of there's like one or two styles out in the market um so you know these will not work with all the 3d tvs out there as as it is right now just again you know if you're going to go buy a, a tv and buy these glasses specifically for that just kind of do your little you know do a research and make sure you're uh, getting the right uh, technology for what you're getting so uh, all in all, these are really nice. I really like them. I have the uh, the Transformer ones, and I've used those in the movie theaters. And it, let me tell you, it definitely does make a difference, um, like I said, from the ones that they do uh, give you in the movie theater. This, uh, because uh, it has the uh, high-definition optics or the HDO, you're able to see a lot more, um, especially when it comes to your peripherals, you know, the 3D effects going on, you know, to the sides of the screens and stuff like that. It definitely makes a big difference. So I actually picked these up for my wife you know she was uh, kind of tired of me having my cool oakley 3d glasses and she stuck with the uh, just a random one so now uh, we'll both have 3d glasses uh, from oakley when we go watch 3d movies so again you know as you guys can see the packaging and the micro bag and everything it kind of shares all the same theme so i think these are really really nice these retail for about 150 i know it's a little much for a pair of glasses that you're not going to really wear every day but again uh, as far as a collectible uh, value of this you know they I, they are pretty uh pretty accessible you know it's not like they only made a certain amount of them but you know it's it's a really cool style that once you know once the movie passes they're probably not going to make anymore so if you don't pick it up now then you know it'll be a little bit more difficult to find in the in the future so uh let me know if you guys have any questions and i hope you enjoyed those all right guys thanks